Exports have already been restricted, so what's the focus now? Well, the focus could end up being on any and all equipment from major chip making or chip equipment providers. As you say, yes, those restrictions, they're already in place. So at the end of last year, for instance, we saw major players like Tokyo Electron, you can see that big slump there, uh, ASML in the Netherlands as well, essentially restricted from selling some of the most advanced technology to China. What hasn't happened, though, is the servicing or the maintenance, because the likes of Tokyo Electron, ASML, they've continued to maintain the equipment that Chinese companies already own. And, and the importance of that really just can't be understated uh, because if you don't service chip equipment, then it can actually stop working within a few months, uh, definitely within a year. And so that's an issue for the US because if you've got those companies like Tokyo Electron, like ASML, that keep maintaining their machines, then essentially you're continuing to enable China with its chip making ambitions. All right, so with that in mind, uh, how could the US go about doing this? What they could impose is a measure called the Foreign Direct Product Rule, or FDPR. Uh, it's essentially a rule that puts in place restrictions or controls on foreign-made products that use even just the tiniest amount of American technology, which is why I said uh, basically any and all of, of equipment could be targeted by the FDPR. What sources are telling us is that this sort of idea or plan is being touted or discussed uh, with officials in Tokyo, The Hague, if uh, Japan and the Netherlands don't tighten their own measures on China. Uh, the US, of course, in a very tricky position, though, because there's also that question of how much are allies going to be listening here when you've got the US presidential election just a few months away? All right, well, we've got the uh, shares in Tokyo Electron there uh, getting hit pretty hard at the moment, off six and a quarter percent. But have we heard from the tech companies yet? What are they saying? So. Tokyo Electron uh, didn't give any commentary for this article, neither did ASML. But what we're hearing behind the scenes, in Japan at least, is that the government isn't going to be enforcing any such efforts. Uh, there's also been the reaction that's come through, or what we've heard from sources from the US equipment makers, the likes of Applied Materials, Land Research, KLA. And, and we hear that they're also actually voicing opposition to it. Their concern is that if you invoke FDPR, then essentially you could be in a position where it backfires because the Netherlands and Japan they could end up being so defiant that they end up stopping cooperating with the restrictions that are already in place. And so the prospect uh, certainly of this just tells you at a bigger picture level uh, that the attempt to, to form a unified approach against or front against China's chip making ambitions is falling short, Paul.